Now on 11 at 11, a local mom says her son's Catholic school didn't take the reports of bullying seriously, and she wants the Archdiocese of Cincinnati to change how its schools handle these problems. The nine on your side I team has reported extensively on bullying in public schools over the past year. Investigator Hillary Lake explains how Ohio's bullying law doesn't apply to most private schools, including Catholic schools. Elizabeth Clark is doing what most moms would do for a son. He needs to know that somebody's out there fighting for him. She says a couple of classmates of her eight-year-old boy bullied him for months at St. Vivian Catholic School. So he was getting punched in the arm. He was getting smacked in the back of the head, um, hit with a lunchbox, um, pushed to the ground called names. Clark is sharing her story with the nine on your side I team because she feels the school dismissed her concerns. I'm not here to get anybody in trouble. I just want the policies to change. Susan Gibbons is superintendent of schools for the Archdiocese of Cincinnati. She served in its schools for 40 years. What do you say to parents who might feel that there's just not enough oversight? That it's difficult in these days um, and that to please keep the lines of communication open between the classroom teacher and the principal. This mom did just that. She followed the school's bullying policy for reporting by going up the chain of command. First, she talked to her son's teacher. Emails show she then contacted the principal and the priest. In a response, the principal admits nothing was initially reported to her and that the teacher never saw anything until a classmate hit her son in the head with a lunchbox. As for the priest, still to this day, the priest at your son's former school has not, not responded, responded to, to you. Amy. No. How does that make you feel? Um, kind of like in a shock about it. I asked Superintendent Gibbons about Clark's son's case. I really can't comment on on an individual instance. In in the case of uh, pastor and principal working together, that's really their purview. Several hours after my interview with the superintendent, a spokeswoman for the Archdiocese of Cincinnati told me its schools department contacted Springfield Township Police to file a report about Clark's case. I asked why file that report now. A spokeswoman tells me because of the media attention and because they have new information about the case. The report is added as a supplement to a police report the boy's father filed in March. A police department spokesman tells me investigators won't look into it though because the boy's father only wants of the incidents documented. The Archdiocese of Cincinnati is the fifth largest Catholic school system in the United States. It has more than 40,000 students in 19 counties and 111 schools. Gibbons tells the I-Team the Roman Catholic Church's canon law says all parish schools govern themselves. We're pretty much advisors to our principals, so we have overall policies in, in a handbook that says every school must have a bullying policy. And so every school does in their handbook. The I-Team discovered as a result, those bullying policies are inconsistent among schools in the archdiocese. The policy at St. Vivian's outlines discipline for fourth through eighth graders. Clark's son is in second grade, so she's unclear if her son's classmates were disciplined for hurting him. What would you like to see the diocese do? They need to be more proactive. They need to be more involved with the schools. I don't think it should fall back on the priest or just the principal. Gibbons says the archdiocese does require principals to annually track bullying training for teachers and for students, but the archdiocese also does not track bullying reports among its schools. Is it fair to say that overall, though, you couldn't really tell me if there is a bullying problem among all of the schools? Uh, archdiocesan wide? No, I couldn't tell you that. I, I could tell you that I know there's, there's instances that occur. Do I think there's, um, there's huge pockets? No. Do I think there's day-to-day -day things that occur? Yes. The I-Team has previously reported Ohio's bullying law requires public and charter schools to track bullying cases and make that information available to the public. The bullying law doesn't apply to private schools. If we perceived that, that there was a big issue with those kinds of things, then certainly we'd be more um, deliberate about tracking. Elizabeth Clark thinks that's not good enough. She transferred her son out of St. Vivian to a different Catholic school where she says he's thriving. I want that structured environment for him. 
I also reached out to the principal and the priest at St. Vivian's school. The priest has not acknowledged any of my messages. The principal sent me an email back saying the superintendent made a statement on behalf of the school. I checked with the spokeswoman for the archdiocese to see if anything the superintendent told me in our interview was a statement on behalf of the school. That spokeswoman tells me no, that's not the case. Hillary Lake, 9 on your side. Hillary, thank you. And Hillary has reported extensively on school bullying, as you may know, and you can find all of her reports right now on WCPO.com.